All right, it's time for the verdict. Um, I now have a completely working Juno 106 without any bad voices. Now, the thing I should point out at this juncture is that, in fact, what I've got... You can hear this or not. We're just going to... Like this. See if I can get that working better. Okay, now, each of these voices are being rotated in test mode, and you can see them all. Uh, I was able to do the test on them, and you know what? The, um, the socketing worked awesome. I'm a little pleased with the way that that actually worked out, so I recommend that. It's actually a good thing to do. Um, let's just open this up a little bit, have a look inside. As you can see, here are the actual chips mounted. And if you take a look at the board, the module board, it actually does tell you um, this is chip number six, number five, number four, number three, number two, and number one. So when you're doing the test, it's really simple. Um, what I found was that, in fact, two and six were giving me problems. Two was hanging and six was just non-existent. So I took them both out and placed them with two other chips from that batch that I processed. Remember, I started off with 12 of them from two 106s. And the idea was I'd strip them all and I would start out. So and basically two and six gave me problems to begin with. So I swapped them out for another two. And those other two also gave me, uh, well, one of them gave me problems. The other one was fine. So now that point number uh, two was fine, but number six was still problematic. So I dropped that out and took another one in. And now all six of them are behaving properly. Now the, the resonance is a little bit out of kilter on them all because they need to be trim adjusted but there's no problems as you can hear there's no hanging notes and at the same time there's also uh, no issue with the uh, noise generator so everything is actually working really well and I'm happy about that obviously um, I have three problematic Juno chips sitting off to the side but that's not a big deal because I actually have a few spares kicking around and I've purchased a couple on eBay uh, as well uh, you know, the original ones, not the analog renaissance ones. So, here we go. Um, looks like we're off to the races. I'm going to talk to you later.